Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of electrical engineering. In today's video, we will delve into the necessity and functions of protective systems in a transmission system. Electrical power transmission is a critical component of our modern infrastructure. And ensuring its safe and reliable operation is of utmost importance. Let's get started. Before we dive into the specifics of protective systems, let's briefly understand what a transmission system is. A transmission system is responsible for transporting electrical power from the generating station to the distribution network or end consumers. It comprises a complex network of power lines, transformers, substations, and other equipment. As electrical engineers, we must prioritize the safety and reliability of the transmission system. That's where protective systems come into play. Let's explore why they are necessary. First, fault detection and isolation. The transmission system can experience faults such as short circuits, overloads, or equipment failures. Protective systems are designed to detect these faults promptly and isolate them from the rest of the system. This helps prevent extensive damage, blackouts, and ensures continuity of power supply. Second comes the personal safety. Electricity can be dangerous, especially in a high voltage transmission system. Protective systems incorporate measures to ensure the safety of the personnel working in and around the transmission system. These measures include fault detection, protective device coordination, and the use of safety equipment. Third, for equipment protection. Transmission system equipment, such as transformers, generators, and transmission lines, is costly and critical. Protective systems safeguard this equipment by quickly detecting and mitigating abnormal conditions, preventing potential damage or destruction. This protection helps minimize downtime and maintenance costs. Now that we understand why protective systems are essential, let's explore their primary functions. First, Fault Detection the primary function of a protective system is to detect faults accurately. This is achieved by monitoring various parameters such as voltage, current, temperature, and frequency. Any deviation from the normal operating conditions indicates a fault, triggering protective actions. Next is fault isolation. Once a fault is detected, the protective system must isolate the affected section from the rest of the transmission system. This prevents the fault from spreading and disrupting the entire network. Isolation is usually achieved through the use of protective relays and circuit breakers. Talking about the third function it is, fault clearing. After isolating the fault, the protective system must clear it. Circuit breakers play a crucial role here by interrupting the fault current, effectively removing the fault from the system. This helps restore normal operation and minimizes the impact on the overall transmission system. Fourth function is the coordination. Protective systems in a transmission system need to be coordinated to ensure effective fault detection, isolation, and clearing. Coordination involves setting appropriate time current characteristics for protective devices throughout the system. This coordination ensures that only the device closest to the fault operates, limiting the impact on the system and reducing downtime. Protective systems are the backbone of a reliable and secure transmission system. By detecting faults, isolating them, and clearing them, these systems safeguard personnel, equipment, and maintain uninterrupted power supply. As electrical engineers, it is crucial for us to design, implement, and maintain robust protective systems to ensure the safe and efficient operation of our transmission networks. We hope this video provided you with a better understanding. 